to say, this is very westernized because you can get Tab Cola. Oh, yeah. Richie, Tony, John, John's Ashes. So we finally get to finish it. Uh -huh. The very last bit of disk drive. Oh, the yeah. Rand you've, Net Keyboard. You've, you've had, had your, your time. time. You've had your time. We recorded your comments separately, Richie. Yes, the Rand Net Keyboard. For the internet server, for the N64 disk drive, we reviewed all of the games, all of the hardware, and we finally get to finish. I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's got keys and it's, it's on a, a board. It's a keyboard. It's got some Japanese stuff and some English stuff on there. That is key. You've had your, it, you've had your time. It can connect to your N64. Well, uh, uh, you your had your time. You had your time. We recorded your stuff separately. Talk about a shameless plug. Uh, it has a num lock, a caps lock, and a power indicator. Um, for he's a jolly good keyboard, for he's a jolly good keyboard, for he's a jolly good keyboard, which nobody, some people some may be able to deny. Very few people purchased. Here it is, the full network setup for the Nintendo 64 disk drive. You got the keyboard, you got the mouse, uh, you've got the RAM net disk stuff here, and you've got the modem plugged in up here. And you can see we've tastefully installed the uh, expansion cart in there. I guess the only thing missing is Randna. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's got a nice look to it, but the response, I'm not really impressed. Like, the keys are pretty stiff. It's not... It's not a fast response, it's not quiet. I don't even know how to do control alt delete because I can't find the delete key on here anywhere. I don't know what Japanese <laughs> for delete is. Maybe there is no delete key, but what if I need to soft reset my N64? What am I gonna do? <laughs> I don't know if that was an option. All right, hey, we can actually do this three player. Richie, you oh, get the mouse. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. You rich, you dare Pass. do some mouse? <laughs> I can. I'll take the mouse. Okay, you get the keyboard. That's Boobs. perfect. That is not an acceptable thing. So I'm gonna do... You have oh. to put in your IP address. It's attempting to connect to the internet now. But it cannot. <laughs> Let me see how the Dreamcast one feels. <clears throat> oh man, that's a blast from the past right there. So is this all you can do? Like this is pretty much the extent yep. of it? You... This, this is it. This is why I say like if you're gonna buy any part of the 64 disk drive, unless you're a completionist, don't go for the RAND net. <laughs> because uh, I mean it's, it's neat, but I mean that you're just locked out of so much of it because it can't connect. So comparing the two, better feel on the keys with the Dreamcast one, but worse aesthetic. Yes, much worse aesthetic. It looks just like a normal, you know, late 1990s keyboard. Right, yeah, this is like, this is something that should be used to input code to an IBM machine. This is, this is a gaming keyboard right here, minus the fact that it's completely not functional and the fact that it's not compatible with any games. Yeah, that's a damn shame. It's only compatible with RANnet. <laughs> so I'm supposed to chat with this thing wall. So what are our thoughts on the N64DD keyboard? I I like it aesthetically. I think it's very it pleasing. It does look nice. Aesthetically. Yeah, it does look mm -hmm. nice. Hey, hey, this is what you got. You had your comments on a separate uh, recorded section. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that about sums it up. Oh, look at this. It's a yen sign. It's compact. It's sleek. It's got the little feet. Uh, the actual key feel is kind of squishy. I don't understand. If you're not going to let me talk, why don't you just <laughs> lock me up in the basement and tie me up? Well, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, technically, it's a crawl space. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice collector's item. 
it's almost useless. Like it works with RANNET. Not just almost. Yeah. <laughs> it works with RANNET and that's it. So thank you very much to Skylar774 and more Skylar774 yeah. for, um, uh, for shipping this from Canada to Michigan. We do appreciate it and we hope all of you at home enjoyed. And nothing increases the value of an item quite like internet non-celebrities autographs. <laughs>